My name is Sunanda Disanayake and I am the chair of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the Southern Polytechnic College of Engineering and Engineering Technology and Professor of Civil Engineering. Growing up in Sri Lanka, a developing country with limited resources, I had no idea there was a group labeled first generation college students even though I belong in that group. However, I had two key factors working in my favor. First, my parents who were teachers made it very clear that I was expected to work very hard on the competitive university entrance exam and go to college, which was not optional by any means. Second, the country I was born and raised, higher education opportunities were available for free. However, this caused the admission process to be extremely competitive with a limited number of openings available for new students, making me work very hard. I would have never become the female engineering professor and the administrator at a major university in the United States without these opportunities. As a child, I did not have a clear idea of what I wanted to pursue as a career. However, I knew that I was not adept at memorizing information, but enjoyed solving practical problems of relevance. That led to a career in engineering instead of medicine, which were the only two areas of employment in Sri Lanka that guaranteed sustainable living, at least at the time. I am so glad that I pursued this career as I thoroughly enjoy engineering and appreciate the versatility it has given me. During my academic career, I found that I was specifically drawn to transportation engineering. I am a visual learner and you can see transportation everywhere. You can see traffic delays, imperfect high infrastructure designs, crashes happening, or issues with traffic patterns and driver behavior, to name a few. Since we all use transportation systems on a day-to-day basis, it is really where research with relevance takes place. Even if you don't drive, you are still a pedestrian, or you take public transportation. The need for safe and efficient transportation systems and process improvement is imperative to everyone around the world. It is also one of the key factors for the economic development of any geographical region. In 2010, I was named a Fulbright Scholar, allowing me to take a sabbatical from the United States and return to Sri Lanka to conduct research on how to resolve traffic conditions in a developing country, which has a different set of highway issues than countries like the United States. In cities like Atlanta, the amount of traffic and the severity of crashes due to the speeds at which people drive here also make it a great area to study traffic patterns and highway safety. For example, during the five-year time period from 2016 to 2020, Georgia experienced nearly 1.5 million motor vehicle crashes, which resulted in about 711,000 injuries and 7,798 fatalities. A key factor of all my research, no matter where I am, is finding a balance between traffic operations and highway safety. These can conflict with each other and the goal is to find a balance. My research is based on practical applications about improving the systems that we use in the real world. Due to this, my research lab is in the field looking at roadway networks and I utilize computing facilities to analyze and model field data collected related to the traffic, motor vehicle crashes and highway operations. The information collected varies based on location as does the driver behaviors. I have previously been involved in finding practical solutions about improving the safety and traffic operations of several types of infrastructure related to our transportation systems. In the past, I have worked on funded research related to speed limit related topics, large truck safety, geometric design of roads, red light running, lane departure crashes, and various special population groups such as young drivers, older drivers, pedestrians, and motorcyclists to name a few. We look at traffic and roadway characteristics, the types of vehicles on the road, varied traffic patterns, and drive characteristics to come up with solutions to improve safety and efficiency of road users. I moved to Kennesaw State University at the beginning of fall 2021 
after spending 19 years at another KSU, Kansas State University, as a faculty member and then as an administrator. Soon after becoming a faculty member in the US, I came to the realization that today's first generation college students, minorities and underrepresented groups or even females don't have the same opportunities to become successful engineers. I came to Kansas State to serve both chair and professor, allowing me to interact with the students and provide them with research experiences related to my fields of interest. Especially being near a big city such as Atlanta will open new research opportunities for me. My work with students at KSU is no different. I am currently working with Mia Kuhn, a first-year civil engineering major participating in the first-year scholars program sponsored by the Office of Undergraduate Research. This research focuses on finding ways to improve seatbelt usage among young drivers by studying the patterns of college students at KSU and analyzing survey results completed by the students. The mission of a major research university is not only instruction, but also the generation of new knowledge through research and transfer and application of this knowledge through education and service activities. It is important we conduct research that is intellectually stimulating and rewarding. And that is my goal here at KSU.